morning everyone this is amir in this session we are going to discuss about git repository and how to clone using visual studio to get a copy of the source code you first of all has to clone your team service git repository cloning creates both the copy of the source code for you to work with all the versions of the control information so that git can manage the source code okay in this session the main agenda of this session is what is repository okay we will show you the live demo how to create a repository and then what is a clone and then later on we will show how to create a clone on the created repository and then we are going to show you how to create a repo and after that you know cloning using web portal so first of all coming to the repository a git repository or repo is is a folder that you have git files that you can track files changes in that so you can have a number of repositories on your computer each stored on their own folder okay it is nothing but a folder that contains every version of the file you have been saved git saves the files very efficiently so having a large number of version doesn't mean that it uses a lot of disk of space so storing each version of your file helps get merging the code better and makes working with multiple versions of your code quick and easy so this is all about the git repo let me show you how we are going to connect and how we are going to create the repository using visual studio so open visual studio 2015 in run as administration mode and then go to team manage connections and then you know connect your connect and then you will find it all kind of you know uh, what are the visual studios that you have connected all the connections and then connect to our git visual studio so this is my project if you see this is my git that I have already created a project or then visual studio team services using git version control now i want to show you how to create a repository right so go to home so if you see over here i have already connected to my project then i'm going to click on the new if you see over here there's a tab called local git repositories you can create a uh, create a local git repository to work on that one so what i'm going to do i'm just going to give the name oh sorry the folder whatever where i have to give as of now that what i'm going to do i'm going to create a local repository in d source repo let me check it out i'm already having this pro uh, this repository or not as of now i don't see any repository so if you see in my d folder i don't have any kind of source over here let me now let me create that one so by just clicking on the create you will create you know d source repositories so the repository has been already created okay let me see right now i'm going to windows d source and repos so you can see the files over here what are the uh, git attributes it will be over here but as of now these are all empty so this is about the git how you are going to create the git repository okay so once again let me tell you first of all once you have connected it go to the local git repositories and click on the new and select the folder where you have to give it and or else you can just browse it and you can create a folder where exactly you need to create the files and where it has to be stored all the git repositories okay this is about how we are going to create the repository and then if you want to add it a new repository in the same way you can go ahead and you can see the tab over here add and then wherever the location you required you can just simply go ahead and create a new repo and just click on the add so as i said you can create a number of repositories on your computer by the two, these two options one is new and after the 
new local git repository old add local git repositories okay now this is all about the you know, repository let me go to the clone right now so clone is nothing but creating a complete local copy of an existing git repository okay just now what we have done we have just created a repository that is git repository and then we need to clone to work on that one so what is that clone a local copy of an existing repository by using its clone by using cloning option okay cloning a repo downloads all the commits and branches in the repository and sets a named relationship with an existing repository okay so in the later of sessions that i will show you how to create a pull and push request on committing and branching all these things so to get all your local code work, uh, from the remote repository you just need to clone this one so i will show you how to create you know a clone on existing repository so as i shown you you know go to visual studio 2015 and over here if you see i have already connected to my git repository of the web portal i'm just right click on that one and i'm going to clone it so when i'm going to clone it so it, it is just giving what is the project where i have published it's a http git project l session dot visual studio dot com slash slash underscore git the git is my project so where i'm going to do this repositories i'm just going to give my d folder and then the repos and the test git so i'm just selecting the recursively you know cloning the sub modules and then click on clone it will take a little bit time uh, you know to clone a little bit what are the files if you see over here i'm having almost all 139 files it is going to be checking out my repositories and then it is going to be if you see this is the test git is my clone if you see over here i'm going to d source and after that i'm going to repositories and test git if you see all my project this is the git training session that have already uploaded in my you know git repository on the web portal you can see all the files what are the things that have done it okay so this is all about the things what we have so these are the files like git attributes it is not showing over here but you are having dot git attributes to save all kind of your project so these are all the matching projects you are having the command prompt what are the solution files that i am having another one is the git ignore dot uh, dot get ignore files it will shows all the kind of this is all about the git don't we have to worry as of now okay so these are the things what we have so coming to you no know, i want to show you how this uh, cloning and repositories has been managed at the web portal let me go to the visual studio first and then you have already connected to that one right let's go to the web portal right now so by just clicking on the http git portal where the visual studio it will take to you to the portals okay if you see all the things if you see over here i am opening in web portal the same thing what are the repository that you have created or the clone you have created or you can do all these things by managing or you can manage all these thing by using web portal if you see over here i have already i am in the browser so i have connected to the git my project git practical session dot visual studio dot com slash test git so if i want to create a new repository so what i have done over there in the same way if i want to create a new local repository let us assume i will say my repository name as okay vs 2015 i'm says test repository okay and I then I can create a no local repository. So these repositories that I can manage over here. And then going back to my Visual Studio, that the same project. Okay. Uh, if you have, you can see this test gate or it's Visual Studio 2015. I have published this project over here. Okay. It is nothing but I've just published or created a new repository over here. 
if you want to import the repository you can import it or else if you're going to be you know renaming it or whatever the things that manage you can do this all these kind of repositories over here using manage repositories okay so now whatever the things that you have done it you have to clone the repository so as of now test git is my repository i want to set up a build or first of all i need to clone so simply i can create a build and i can clone it wherever exactly i require so what are the things that have done it over there i can do the same way by using the web portal okay so this is this is all about the creating a local repository and cloning a repository by using portal also that have shown you how to manage the repositories in the next session i will show you how to create the branches so based on the uh, as of now that we have it is not sufficient to work on the project right now i need to create a branches you know to work on the multiple uh, branches so i will show you how to create the branches and how we are going to work on the branches so how how to save the works that whatever the work you have done it and that is simply mean you know you are going to commit the branches what are the changes you have done it in the later of session i will show you all these things thank you thank you very much if you have any queries i will always available on bashar.amir86@gmail.com thanks for watching